So we know 7 to 18 servings of soy a day may neutralize some of the beneficial effects of avoiding animal protein. At the same time, studies have repeatedly found that women who eat lots of soy appear to have a lower risk of getting breast cancer, and a better chance of surviving breast cancer than those who don't eat soy. So is there some magic number of soy food servings we should shoot for? So far, we know that somewhere between 7 and 18 may not be so good, so more than 18 definitely gets the axe. Uh, this two-year study found no effect on IGF levels of adding two servings of soy food daily, whether they were tofu, soy milk, soy nuts, or the concentrated soy isolate found in you know, plant-based meats, protein bars, or protein powder, still fine. Still got a big range here. Uh, this study suggested 5 to 10 servings a day was bad, increased IGF. So uh, we're kind of slowly but surely narrowing down the kind of safety window. Same year in Japan, three servings a day cleared the IGF radar. And then that's it. That's all the science we have so far. So the bottom line is legumes should be part of everyone's daily diet, which means lentils, peas, and or beans, ideally with each of our meals, of which soy is an excellent choice, but I recommend that we should probably stick to no more than three to five servings a day.